Good morning, my angels. It is Thursday. I'm going to be out again today. I'm so sorry. Um, I know a lot of you are worried. I'm okay. I don't want you to think it's COVID. It's not COVID. Thank goodness. I'm just not feeling well. Um, but hopefully, I'm going to go to the doctor again today. And I'm hoping that maybe I can return tomorrow, Monday at the latest. Okay. So, but thank you so much for, you know, still completing your work. I really appreciate it. And I want you all to know that I miss you very, very much. Okay. So let's look at our today's assignment. Okay, Thursday, December the 3rd. Here we go. All right, so you're going to watch the video on population distribution of Latin America. Okay, and it's just basically giving you an idea of where people are populating in Latin America, whether it's Central America, South America, or the Caribbean. We've learned in the past that most people will probably move near water near port areas and there is there are various reasons so in your mind if i were to ask you okay so what would be these reasons why would people want to live in port areas you're probably thinking well because they have access to water they can irrigate like the egyptians they can irrigate water into their agriculture they can fish find food for survival right maybe they can even wash and bathe in it but more importantly, it was it's easier for trade. And that was what the original premise was. People were originally moving into port areas because it was easier to trade. And then we've also learned that there's a lot of physical barriers that get in our way where it's impossible to live in those areas, right? It would be too difficult to place a home there. So if I were to ask you, what would be these locations? In your head, you're probably thinking, well, maybe in mountains area, right? If there's a big mountain, it would be hard to build a home there. So we know that in a mountainous area, most people would not be living in that area. So think of it, if we were to picture the United States, we learned that the people are mainly populated in the East and the Midwest, right? And over on the, on the I'm sorry, yes, the Midwest. And then on the West Coast, you have more people living in California than you do in Nevada, in the mid, in right in the middle of the West, right? Because there's a lot of mountains there, the Rocky Mountains. Remember, they stretch all the way from South America, go all the way up to Canada. So the Rocky Mountains are in the way. So this is this would be one of the reasons why population distribution is separated all over the countries, and specifically in Latin America. So what I want you to do today is you're going to read this article on population in Latin America. If it comes up, here it is. Okay, so population distribution. So I want you to think about, as you're reading, think about the difference between sparsely populated and densely populated. So sparsely populated are areas that have a low population and dense would be a high population. Also think about, again, those trade barriers or, or things that are in the way. Uh, is a river helpful for trading? Absolutely, right? A ocean, the river, that is what we're looking for mountainous area that's probably where you're going to have those sparsely populated areas okay so there are three factors that i want you to consider that impact population is location climate and the distribution of natural resources those natural resources are extremely important and that is why many people do populate or originally populated in those coastal areas because of fish right in wooded areas if there's lumber so think of those natural air, those natural resources that are going to help people. Uh, they want to be close to those waterways. And of course, temperate climates. We've learned, think about Canada, when we learned about Canada. Everyone that lives in Canada, if we go up north of the United States, Canada is located, right? But if we look at the Canada region, if we go down south towards the United States, that is a temperate area, right? It's a lot cooler and it's warmer. So it has all four seasons. But if you go up north, way, 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 way up north Canada, then you're going to start hitting that tundra area. Now, believe it or not, there are people that live in those areas, but not a lot. It's sparsely populated. Okay, there are very, very few people that live there. And the majority of them are indigenous cultures. They're indigenous tribes that have been living there their whole lives, and they're accustomed to it. They have adapted to this. Okay, all right. So then, um, then you're going to keep going. Brazil. 
is most densely populated in areas found in the eastern half of the country. Cuba is most densely populated areas found in the southeastern part of the country. And then think about what are they what are they selling? What are they making? Right? So if you look at Cuba, they have tobacco, sugarcane, rice, and coffee. And Brazil, they mainly mainly have agriculture. They do have uh, forestry, a lot of fishing and minerals, but predominantly um, agriculture. Okay, so this is what you're doing today. I want you to read this whole thing because it will be on the test next Wednesday. Yes, we have a test. I'm sorry. Okay, and then you're going to be answering this these questions. Population in Latin America. So I'll show it to you as a preview. Super slow today, guys, super slow. I needed to hurry so I could go to my doctor. <laughs> all right, so you're gonna answer these questions, okay? Again, this is all related. It's either gonna be related to that video, the video of what I just said, or the article, okay? Very easy assignment. You do have a few true, false, and I think maybe like four multiple choice, okay? Super easy, guys. I know you can do it, and I know you're going to do well. Okay. All right. So I will miss you. I'm hoping that I will return tomorrow. Please continue to be amazing students as you've been all week. I'm so proud of you, and I'm so sorry I can't be there. But I'm hoping I can return tomorrow. Okay. I miss you, and I love you all very much.